On Friday, following months of negotiations, Russia and Ukraine both signed identical agreements with Turkey and the United Nations. The main aim of the deal signed here in Istanbul is to allow Ukrainian and Russian food and fertilizer to reach global markets safely. Around 22 million tons of grain has been stuck in Ukraine's Odessa port. UN officials have stated that the conflict in Ukraine has become a large component of the global food crisis. And let there be no doubt, this is an agreement for the world. It will bring relief for developing countries on the edge of bankruptcy and the most vulnerable people on the edge of famine. As part of the agreement, a joint coordination center will be created in Istanbul under the auspices of the United Nations and will include representatives of Russia, Ukraine and Turkey. About 20 million tons of last year's grain harvest will be exported. This year's harvest, and it's already been harvested, will also be available for sale. These are farmers' incomes, the entire agricultural sector and the state budget. Russia will continue to be faithful to its obligations in this area. The use of food by the United States and its allies in the interests of geopolitical adventures is unacceptable and inhumane. Ships coming in and out of designated Ukraine ports are to travel through safe corridors, and inspections will be carried out on board vessels for unauthorized cargo or personnel. Russia and Ukraine have also agreed not to attack any vessels or port facilities engaged in the initiative. Turkish President Recep Tayyip Erdogan stressed the deal's economic significance as well. Ensuring world supply security in agriculture and food products is important in many respects. With this step, possible additional price increases due to the loss of productivity caused by the heat wave and drought will be prevented. We also help to control food inflation, which has become a global problem. Guterres and Erdogan stated that it would take several weeks for the agreement to be implemented. The agreement is set to expire after 120 days and can be renewed if both parties agree. Mikhail Bardavid, CGTN, Istanbul.